Guys, I just got my hands on the new chat GPT release from OpenAI, and my mind is absolutely blown. It's so crazy. You know, it's taken the world by storm for good reason because it's an absolute game changer that's going to affect every single industry, including blockchain and Web 3.0, because you can do things like create applications completely from scratch without coding. You can find security vulnerabilities inside of smart contracts and perform exploits. You can debug contracts and so much more. And this video, I'm going to show you, you can do all of that step by step, how you can use this new artificial intelligence to create all this stuff, you know, find bugs, do whatever. I'm going to show you all this is a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're around here, hey, I'm Gregory. On this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to have become a blockchain master, step by step from start to finish, Land your first blockchain developer job, increase your salary past 100K, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about how to get your hands dirty with chat GPT so that you can, you know, supercharge your blockchain development powers. So just a quick recap on what this is, why it's important, okay? So this is a brand new release from OpenAI. I just made a video about this explaining the whole thing in depth, so you can definitely check out that video for a full explanation. But in this video, I want to show you how to get your hands dirty and actually use it. Basically, it's just a chat prompt that you can talk to. You can put in whatever text you want to. It's got artificial intelligence on the other side that will basically answer your questions. It'll write code for you. It'll help you solve problems. It's absolutely crazy. So let me show you how it works. All right, so the first thing you want to do to get started is go to chat.openai.com, okay? That's chat.openai, chat, yeah, dot com, okay? And then that's going to redirect you to this, the auth login path. Go ahead and click sign up, okay? Uh, you're going to need to create an open AI account. All right, just provide your email address. You'll have to confirm your email address. But once you've gone through all that, you should be logged in. And then once you've created your account and logged in, you should be able to go to the chat.openai.com forward slash chat page, and you'll see the interface for chat GPT here. So you can see examples, like you can ask your random questions, like explain quantum computing in simple terms, blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to focus on the blockchain coding specific use cases in this video. So what you're going to do is go down here in your text prompt and tell it what to do. All right. So I'm going to start off with a pretty simple task and then get more complex. So let's start off by having it create a cryptocurrency for us from scratch. OK, and I'm going to be super specific. OK, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just paste my prompt in here. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to let you watch it, create it in real time, and I'll explain the prompt. All right. So I put in the prompt and it's actually writing the code uh, for you. OK, so this is pretty crazy. All right. Let me explain the prompt and you'll see exactly what it does. So basically, I said, create an ERC-20 token with the name DAP token with the symbol DAP with a total supply of 1 million tokens without decimals. Okay, that's very specific. And I said, it should use 18 decimal places, which is another ERC-20 uh, feature. And then I said, please use the Open Zeppelin library and Solidity version 0.8.0. .0. Okay, and it gave me the exact answer. And if I copied and pasted this exact code into Remix and click, you know, deploy... It's going to put a brand new token on the blockchain, and I can do that all, you know, in under a minute. All right, so let's now let's try another one. I'm going to try having it create an NFT, but not just an NFT, also an app that lets you mint NFTs from scratch by paying Ether, okay? So let's put in the prompt here, all right? I'm going to hit enter, and let's just see what happens. All right, so it's coding it out right now. Let me just see what the prompt is, and we can expect the result. So I said, create a simple Solidity smart contract that lets an externally owned account mint a new NFT by paying 0.1 Ether. Okay, please use the Open, open Zeppelin library for the NFT contract. Okay, so here's the result. And yes, yeah, it's a simple app, but it's perfect. Okay, so it imports uh, the Open Zeppelin ERC721 library and it created a new contract. It even gave it a name, okay, NFT Mentor. That's a pretty good human readable English name. You know, is ERC721. It's got the constructor that sets the name and the symbol. Okay, I didn't give it these specifications, but you could, uh, you know, edit these yourself or change the specifications in the prompt. And it does the mint function and it has the correct require statement inside of it. Okay, it says require message value is equal to 0 0.1 Ether. And it even gives you an error message if it's not uh, satisfied. It says incorrect payment amount, which is a correct, is a great uh, human readable. Uh, exception message and then it calls the mint function to create the nfts now i can get more specific with this let's see if we can tell it to update this code and uh 
you know, send the funds to the owner. So let's say, I'll just try this live. I haven't tr practiced this. We'll say, please update this code to uh, have an owner, which is an externally owned account. This should be a publicly visible state variable make uh, and then, then ever and say whenever the mint function is called, please send the ether funds directly to the owner address. All right, let's just see what happens. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. <laughs> it worked. Okay, we can see the address public owner was set here. We can set the owner was set to the message sender who deployed the contract. And we can also see that uh, it's now transferring funds directly to the owner's address whenever the mint function is called. All right, let's see if we can get a little more complex. So let's see how you could potentially use this to create your own trading bots or your own trading scripts. Okay, so I'll start off with just a script because at the end of the day, that's going to be the lifeblood of your trading bot is using something that calls other smart contracts in the blockchain. So I'm going to put this prompt in right here. Okay, let's just let's just trigger it and then let's watch it happen and I'll explain the prompt and we'll see you know what the AI actually put out. So basically, I said create a Node.js script that swaps Ether for USDC tokens with Uniswap smart contracts directly on the Ethereum blockchain. So please use the Ether's JS library to connect to the blockchain with Infura. So I was very specific in that prompt, and that's exactly what it put out. Okay, so, you know, I said the Ether for USDC tokens on Uniswap using Ethers and Infura to connect to the blockchain. So it, it did exactly that, okay? It's got some placeholders in there where it's not going to provide you with stuff you need to do. Like you need to give it your Infura app ID, okay? But you could easily get that for free from Infura. It pulled in the Uniswap factory address. It pulled in the USDC address for the smart contract of the blockchain, okay? Uh, you have to put your own private key in here. You, of course, would have to have some funds in your wallet to execute this script. But it gave me a great, uh, well-written JavaScript that I can just execute inside this main function. And it calls the main function down here. Okay, it actually, uh, you know, up, updates the uh, Infura provider with Ethers JS, the exact library I told it to in the specifications. It creates a new wallet with your private key. It gets the latest block number. It gets the Uniswap factory. It gets the USDC contract entrance, sets up the Uniswap pair. Uh, it knows how to use Uniswap. That's what's so crazy. Like as a developer, you wouldn't even have to look at the documentation. It approves the tokens and it does the actual swap and waits for the transaction to finish. And it shows you this is what's crazy. It even gives you a nice human readable console log output at the end of the script so that you can observe that it's actually happening whenever your script was complete. This is a powerful tool because, you know, a, a developer who didn't know how this stuff worked, or even a developer that did know how this stuff worked, this script could easily take somebody, you know, 30 minutes to an hour to put together if they're having to look for documentation, look up different, uh, you know, addresses for this and that. It, it just knows where everything is all in place and spit out the script in a few seconds. All right, so now let's talk about how to use it to find security vulnerabilities because this is another huge, crazy benefit of this application, okay? So I'm seeing this all over, you know, people talk about on Twitter. Basically, this AI chat bot is either an exploiter's dream or their nightmare, okay? We have people like just putting real contracts into it and finding the security vulnerabilities instantly. Of course, this has huge implications, not so that you can steal the money, but so you can find vulnerabilities in your own contracts or disclose them to other people and get handsomely rewarded for that on a platform like, you know, uh, Immune Fire or something like that. So let's look at how to do it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go back to my chat bot and I'm gonna give it some smart contracts where I know that there are security vulnerabilities and describe, you know, how they work and what to look for. So what I'm gonna do is look at uh, Damn Vulnerable DeFi. Okay, this is a, uh, you know, this is a, a website that, that gives you different challenges with known security vulnerabilities so that you can find them. And as a developer, you're supposed to find them and supposed to teach you about it. But what we're gonna do is use these exact examples and see if the AI can find the vulnerability for us, okay? So I'm gonna go to the Unstoppable uh, Challenge. This is the first one in the list. You can actually see the smart contracts on GitHub. Okay, I'm just gonna click this in a new window. You can see the code here. So what I'm gonna do is just create a prompt that AI can understand. I'm just gonna copy and paste this as some little slight modifications and then include the code to see if it can find the vulnerabilities. All right, so now what I've done is I've formatted all this 
in a, in a way that the model can understand. So I basically said, you know, please find the security vulnerability in the Solidity challenge below. So I just copied and pasted like literally what's on the damn vulnerable DeFi website. I just copied this paragraph, okay? But then I translated a little bit, okay? I just changed this line instead of saying like, you know, if there's only one way to attack, blah, 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 blah. I just said, you must attack and stop the pool from offering flash loans. You start with 100 DVT tokens in a balance, okay? And then I just like put that in quotes. And then I said, there are two smart contracts in the scenario. Here's the first one, okay? I just got on GitHub and I just copied and pasted the contract code from this one, okay? And put it in there, just just right inside the editor, okay? And then I said, here's the second one. And even it even understands where the code starts and stops and where the you know English language, you know, begins next. And then I put in the second contract here, okay? And then... That's it. He said footer. I accidentally copied the thing from GitHub, but it understands how to parse that out. And then it said uh, this, okay, potentially security vulnerabilities in the flash loan function uh, for the unstoppable lender and that it can be called multiple times and drain the pool. That's the exact security vulnerability. And that's exactly how you would solve the challenge uh, on this damn vulnerable DeFi uh, challenge that is a known vulnerability. And so you can test this out with any contract that you know has a vulnerability. And you can also start plugging in real world contracts like these other people are uh, to see if you can find vulnerabilities in actual production smart contracts that nobody else has found yet. All right, so that's an overview of how to use chat GPT to supercharge your blockchain development. Again, this is a huge game changer. As always, you know, hope you like this video. If you did, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out. So I'm hoping to learn about blockchain. And if you're as fascinated with this technology as I am, you want to increase your blockchain skills. How can you do that? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to go for the throat, take a master shortcut entirely. I actually have to become a blockchain master step by step start finish over at adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You have to be an expert to get started today. Help people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers, increase their salary past 100k in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dap University.